Hey guys and welcome to a brand new YouTube training. In today's video we're going to look at Facebook ads and how to run split tests so you can get the best possible return. Because if you're just running one image with one copy and no other different variations then you're not going to get your best possible return. So before we actually jump into Ads Manager and set this up, I just wanted to kind of show you a layout and give you more of an in-depth look on how it would look. So if we just jump into notes, for example, where we can write it down. So Facebook ad split testing. We're going to run this split test with three different ad copies. So we'd have ad copy one, we'd have ad copy two, and then finally we'd have ad copy three. Each ad copy is going to be written slightly different. The benefits, what they're getting, everything about it, the way it talks to people is going to be different. So it actually speaks to people in different ways. It could be a longer ad copy. It could be a short ad copy. It could be a straight to the point with just all the benefits. It could be a straight to the point with everything they're going to get. We need three slightly different variations to make this work. So we've got three different ad copies. Along with that, we're going to have three different images or videos. So we'll have image slash uh, video one. Let's copy that. We'll have image slash video two. And then we'll have the same for number three. So what we're going to do then, so you've got your ad copy. That ad copy is going to have an image or video and the three different variations of it. So if I just click all these and I'm going to post this under ad copy one. Do it exactly the same under add copy two, and then finally do it the same under add copy three. So all in all, we've got nine different ads. So when we jump into ads manager now, and I kind of give you a quick look of how we would set this up, I just want to show you now how you would pick out the winners. So let's say your average cost per lead, so your average cost per lead is let's say it's five pound keep it really really simple you run these different variations for two or three days after third day let's say add copy one is three pound let's say add copy two or copy one variation two again is three pound and then the following one again is three pound but let's say all these sort of add copy two are six pound each so we take that one there, that one there, that one there. So we know that this copy is not performing as well as this copy. All we would do is turn all of these off and we would add that budget onto these instead. By doing that, you're then finding the best ad copies that are going to give you the best results because we know the average cost per lead is five pound we want to make sure every single one of these are performing less than five pound anyone that is costing more than five pound all you do is you turn it off and you add the budget to the following ad copies that are performing better so let's jump into ads manager now so in ads manager top left where it says create we're going to start creating our campaign. So let's say I'm creating this for ladies and it's going to be a conversions. Oh, what's going on here? Conversions advert. And then we're going to put today's date, which is the 28th of October. Scroll down to it, it says campaign objectives. Click that and press conversions. And then scroll and press save to drafts. So the campaign is set up. We've got the campaign name, date, who we're targeting, and the campaign type, which is going to be conversions. Top left, we're going to press back. With this ticked, we can either click add set here, or we just click the text, and it brings us in. So like we were saying a minute ago, we start off with add copy one, and then we're going to go image one. So we set this up. So with that ticked, we're going to press the pencil here. We're going to start to fill these details in. If you've never set a conversions advert up before, then go back into one of the previous YouTube videos and go and watch that training on how to set up a conversions ad, or just watch one of the others where we're talking about lead ads and traffic ads so you can see a difference and set it up the way that you want to do. 
And then we just play around with the budget. So if I just say £1.25 a day, we create the audience. Let's make the audience based where I live. Cardiff. Uh, let's say it's ladies over the age of 30, under the age of 50, and women. So that gives me an audience range of 390,000. So that is the ad set done. Then we go into the ad itself. So again, the ad is going to be ad copy one, image one. You then fill everything in with your ad copy, your images, the links and everything. And that is ad copy image one done. All I would then do is go back, go to the ad set itself. And then I would just duplicate this one change it to image two. The ad set itself doesn't need to change because we've already created it in the first one. We go to the ad itself. We change that to image two and then we leave everything. All the text stays the same except we change the media and we either select a different image or a different video. And then you would repeat that nine times in total. So for the ad set, you should have three different copies each copy has a new image or a new video and there's three sets of those. So in total, there should be nine different ones. So let me show you an example now. So if we go down to uh, the special offer men's one here. So for this example, we had the same copy, but five different images or videos. So if I put lifetime onto this. And if I scroll across quickly to the cost per result, we can see that this one was coming in at £3.21. This one came in at £3.46. And these two, in the end, were coming in at £4.03. Whereas this one got nothing at all. It delivered no results. So when I was doing this campaign, all these would have been turned on. These two would have been performing the best. So I would switch the rest off and move the full budget across to the winning ads that means then these ads are getting the best possible return so how we do it is every two or three days we jump in we check the results see how they're getting on and change accordingly moving the right budgets to the right ads which are performing taking away or turning off the ads that are least performing so i know this video now this video might sound a little complicated, so I would watch it maybe a second time or even a third time. Have a go at writing in your notes exactly how it would lay out. So you'd have two variations of ad copy, three variations of the simplest way, like that advert there. You'd have one ad copy and then you'd have four or five different images of videos. And then you can see which video or image is performing the best. The ones that are performing the least best, the ones that are performing results that are not good enough, you just turn those on and move their ads budget onto the winning ads to get an even better return. So that is a quick video or a quick training on how to run split tests for Facebook ads.